Hi there, fellow knowledge seekers. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the realms of history, philosophy, and the fascinating mysteries of human behavior. I'm Warm Ratoon. I'm thrilled to have you join me today as we embark on an exhilarating journey through the thought-provoking ideas of renowned author Yuval Noah Harari. Get ready to challenge your perspectives, ignite your curiosity, and explore the paradoxes that lie within our predictions. All right, folks, buckle up, because we are diving into Homo Deus, A Brief History of Tomorrow by Yuval Noah Harari. Published in 2015, this non-fiction gem takes us on an epic journey into the potential future of humanity. We are talking about technological advancements, societal changes, and even the quest for immortality and eternal happiness. I mean, who wouldn't want that, right? Now, Harari brings us a game by presenting all this from a third-person omniscient perspective. It's like he's this all-knowing oracle, giving us the lowdown on what lies ahead. And guess what? The book is divided into three parts, each exploring a different aspect of our past, present, and future. It's like Harari saying, hey, I got you covered from all angles. Talk about organized and thought-provoking stuff. But hold on a sec, it's not just the structure that keeps us glued to the pages. Harari's writing style is as engaging as it gets. He throws in vivid descriptions and real-life examples that make complex concepts crystal clear. I mean, for you you could talk about the future with such flair? And at this, he's got a wicked sense of humor and irony too. It's like he's saying, hey, let's make these mind-bending ideas memorable and fun. And let me tell you, he does it well. Now, let's get our brains spinning with some mind-boggling questions, shall we? Harari hits us with some seriously thought-provoking gems. Picture this, will our relentless pursuit of immortality and eternal happiness end up devaluing the very essence of human life? And what about the job market? With the rise of artificial intelligence and automation, will we be left twiddling our thumbs while algorithms take over the world? I don't know about you, but these questions keep me up at night, pondering the fate of our society. It's like Harari knows how to hit us right in the existential gut. You all know a Harari, the mastermind behind this intellectual roller coaster, is an Israeli historian and a tenured professor at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. He's a true brainiac who's penned not just Homo Deus but also the best-selling Sapiens, a brief history of humankind. This guy's got history and the future on lockdown, my friends. And let me tell you, he's been labeled a public intellectual for a reason. He's out there, spreading his wisdom through talks and interviews that blow minds worldwide. Ferrari's work isn't just about exploring the past and future, it's about grappling with the ethical and political challenges of the 21st century. So, if you're ready to embark on a mind-expanding adventure, grab yourself a copy of Homo Deus, A Brief History of Tomorrow in Strap and Tight. Ferrari's got the knowledge, the wit, and the vision to take you on a wild ride. And who knows, after reading this book, you might just find yourself questioning everything you thought you knew about humanity's past, present, and future. Don't say I didn't warn you. Alright, let's kick off this mind-blowing journey with part 1, How Long Sapiens Conquers the World. Hold on tight because we are about to uncover the secret to why Homo sapiens have become the rulers of planet Earth. You know what it is? It's the power of our shared myths and stories. The author argues that our ability to create and believe in these captivating narratives has propelled us to the top of the food chain. From the development of religion to the rise of nationalism, history is bursting with examples that support this mind-bending idea. It's like we've unlocked the key to world domination through the sheer force of our collective imagination. Part 2 is where things get even more intriguing. Get ready for Homo sapiens give meaning to the world. Now that we've conquered the world, we're stepping up our game by shaping the very future of life on Earth. How, you ask? Through mind-blowing technological advancements and jaw-dropping scientific discoveries. Think about the Industrial Revolution and the mind-boggling development of artificial intelligence. These milestones have put us in the driver's seat, 
where we're not just passengers on this cosmic ride, but architects of our own destiny. Talk about a power trip! And now, my fellow adventurers, it's time for the grand finale, part three. How Bung Sapiens loses control. Hold on to your hats because we are about to enter the realm of godlike beings. We are teetering on the edge of a breathtaking transformation where we, as Homo sapiens, have the power to shape our own future. Can you imagine that? It's like a sci-fi movie come to life. The author makes a compelling argument that our relentless pursuit of further technological advancements and scientific discoveries will push us beyond our wildest dreams. We are talking genetic engineering, data-driven decision-making, and who knows what other mind-bending innovations lie ahead. It's both thrilling and a bit nerve-wracking, isn't it? So, Homo Deus, A Brief History of Tomorrow is not just a book, it's a mind-expanding adventure into the depths of our past, present, and future. From the power of shared myths to our role as shapers of the world, this book will challenge your perception of what it means to be human. Because this isn't your typical historical read. Ferrari's got some big goals with this book, and he's not holding back. First things first, Ferrari wants to educate us about the mind-blowing future that awaits humanity. Picture this, a world where technological advancements and societal changes shape our very existence. It's like stepping into a sci-fi movie, but without the cool spaceships yet. Ferrari brings together fields you'd never expect to blend. We're talking with a historian who know their way around the intricacies of biology, a religious philosopher who tapping into cutting-edge neuroscience, and an economist who can whip up a synthesis of zoology and psychology. That's some intellectual multitasking right there. But it doesn't stop at education. Ferrari wants to ignite those sparks of curiosity and get us thinking critically. You know, pondering the big questions that keep us up at night. Now, we've all heard the chatter about chat GPTs, those virtual assistants that can be both a blessing and a curse. The optimists out there are all like, hey, these advancements will totally make our lives better and more efficient. Meanwhile, the pessimists are predicting a dystopian future where AI takes over, leaving us peasants in the dust. But guess what? Rolari scoffs at these discussions. They're just a blip on the radar compared to the grand scope of his book. And here's a juicy nugget for you. Our man Horari recently dropped an article in the prestigious Economist, claiming that AI has hacked the operating system of human civilization. Whoa, talk about an expansive perspective. Horari is not afraid to venture into uncharted territories, my friends. He's serving up unique insights and pushing the boundaries of our understanding. Picture this, a paradoxical dance of prognostication, where the more precise your predictions, the more the outcome veers off course. It's a mind-boggling concept, but you all know a Harari makes a compelling case for it. Take a moment to ponder the enigma of human behavior, and how our actions can defy even the most astute forecasts. Now, let's shine a light on a remarkable historical figure, Karl Marx a revered thinker whose prophecies have left an indelible mark. His iconic works, The Communist Manifesto and Das Kapital, vividly painted a future where the proletariat would rise against the bourgeoisie, toppling the old order and forging a new social democracy. Yet, here's where it gets interesting. As Marx's words reverberated through the corridors of power, something unexpected happened. The capitalist class and politicians, who were devouring his works, took action to preempt the cataclysmic revolution. They implemented reforms like the eight-hour working day, social welfare policies, and the creation of trade unions in developed countries. Fast forward to today, and we witness labor unions organizing strikes, demanding higher wages, but without the specter of revolution looming overhead. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute, was Marx wrong in his predictions? Quite the contrary, my friend. Marx's prophecies were so potent, so deeply ingrained in the fabric of society, that they reshaped the course of history. They didn't materialize in the exact manner Marx had foretold, but they made a profound impact, nonetheless. It's a fault that challenges our conventional notion of prophecy. 
Instead of simply measuring accuracy based on outcomes, we must consider the transformative power predictions held over the times of history. So, as we embark on this intellectual journey through the pages of Yuval Noah Harari's book, let's keep this notion in mind. Ferrari, much like Marx, is not concerned with the mere validation of his predictions. No, his aim is far more profound. He invites us to break free from the chains of history, to explore the paths that obstruct or hasten the arrival of these future developments. It's a call to liberate we from the limitations of the past and embrace the possibilities of an unwritten future. So, whether you're a technique, a philosophy aficionado, or just a curious soul craving some mental stimulation, how low day use is the ride you've been waiting for? You all know a Harari is like that captivating guide who holds your end and leads you into the uncharted depths of our future. Let us delve into the profound lessons of history. Let us unravel the mysteries of how prophecies shape a world and how they, in turn, are shaped by it. All right, let's talk about the entertainment value of Homo Deus, a Greek history of tomorrow. Now, I'll be straight with you, Harari didn't set out to craft a blockbuster novel or a laugh-out-loud comedy. Nope, this is serious stuff we're diving into. But hey, furious doesn't mean boring. Harari has managed to weave together an engaging and accessible narrative that will keep you hooked from start to finish. It's like having a riveting conversation with your favorite professor, who just happens to possess a staggering breadth of knowledge. Picture this, you're engrossed in a deep discussion about the future of humanity, technology, and the social changes that lie ahead. Trust me, it's fascinating stuff. Harari's book isn't meant to be mere entertainment, it's a beacon of knowledge, a challenge to our conventional thinking, and a call to action. He wants to inform and shake you out of your comfort zone. And boy, does he succeed. The book has garnered widespread praise for its thought-provoking ideas and its accessible writing style. It's like a mental roller coaster that leaves you contemplating the profound questions of our time. Now, let's talk impact. Ferrari's work has ignited vital conversations about the future of humanity. People from all walks of life are discussing the role of technology and its implications for our world. It's like a spark that has set ablaze the flames of curiosity and critical thinking. And guess what? You might not agree with everything Harari presents. That's the beauty of it. His ideas challenge us to examine our beliefs, question the status quo, and form our own opinions. So, while this book may not be your typical source of entertainment, it's an intellectual journey worth embarking on. It'll stretch your mind, push you to consider the pressing issues we face, and inspire you to take a stand. Whether you're nodding along with every word or engaged in lively debates with friends, the impact of Homo Day use is undeniable. Hey there! If you found yourself intrigued by my little exploration of Homo Deus, a brief history of tomorrow and your itching to dive deeper into its fascinating pages, I've got two burning questions that will take your understanding to the next level. First up, let's ponder the intricate relationship between humans and other animals. Harari doesn't shy away from this thought-provoking topic. Trust me, it'll make you question your assumptions and ponder the responsibility we bear towards our non-human counterparts. Now, let's move on to the second question that'll pique your curiosity. Have you ever wondered how humanism became such a powerful force, almost like a world religion in its own right? Well, Harari takes us on an intellectual journey through the historical development and influence of humanism. He explores how this belief system, rooted in the importance of human dignity, freedom, and potential, has shaped our societies and worldviews. But it doesn't stop there. Ferrari digs deep into the profound implications of humanism's rise, questioning its impact on our future trajectory as we navigate the treacherous waters of technological advancements. Brace yourself for a thought-provoking exploration of our values, beliefs, and the potential consequences of our human-centric worldview. And there you have it. We've journeyed through the paradoxical world of prognostication, exploring the profound impact predictions can have on the times of history. Remember, it's not just about whether a prophecy comes true or not, 
but the transformative power it holds over our collective consciousness. If you want to stay updated and be part of a vibrant community of book lovers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and share it with your fellow bookworms. Together, let's reach 1,000 followers on my channel, and I promise you an in-depth analysis of this captivating book that'll last more than an hour. Can't wait to delve deeper into the rich tapestry of Homo Deus, a brief history of tomorrow with all of you.